started, a reminder, please turn your cell phones off or mute them so that we don't have interruptions. And when you ask your questions, please uh, speak up. We have a microphone here, but this goes upstairs to the press box as well. Joining us now are members of the Texas A&M Commerce Lions football team. With us in the center is head coach Colby Carthel. Starting down on the far left of the podium is Ronald Fields. Ronald is a junior defensive back from Sacramento, California. Second from the left is Vernon Johnson. Vernon is a junior wide receiver from nearby Fort Worth, Texas. And on the far right of the podium, we have Tevin Moore. He's a senior defensive lineman from Dallas. Coach, first, congratulations on an outstanding win. Just give us uh, your thoughts on the game. Well, it was a, a great hard-fought game by both teams. Uh, really quality opponent there in Delta State. They've got a fantastic ball club and, uh, you know, just a lot of momentum swings. Uh, there was a lot of miscues by both teams that led to big plays by the others. And uh, I think we just ended up making one or two more to, to pull out the victory. But it's just a, a great, great game here at the festival. And, uh, you know, we're just fortunate to come out on top. The last 10 minutes of the game, uh, Delta had pulled within, I believe, five line up for a field goal, miss it. You guys turn the ball over, but then your defense steps up, gets the ball back, you go down and score. That was uh, really the, I think, the straw that broke the camel's back. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of momentum going back and forth. We had the momentum with a stop, turned around and mishandled a, an exchange and, you know, could have laid down. And, and uh, you know, we've got a really young team, but I think they grew up a lot tonight. And, uh, you know, that series really showed and a great job by our offense going down and, and capitalizing. Your defense forces three turnovers and records eight sacks. Eight sacks. These guys are, they, they like getting to that quarterback, and it uh, sure makes uh, life a lot easier when they do. Questions for the Lions? Head coach Carthel or the players? I'm Jordan Davis from the East Texas. Uh, when like this over a ranked opponent, what does, it do, what does it do for your football team moving forward? Well, I think, you know, first and foremost, it gives us some confidence. You know, it's, it's a new team. There's a lot of new pieces to the puzzle. we got a lot of young guys playing. I think we've broke eight red shirts already this year. And so it, you know, just gives us a little bit of uh, confidence moving forward. We're in a very, very tough stretch of our, of our schedule, but uh, you know, it also just uh, helps the, helps the guys come together, you know, and, and uh, because we are so new and, and have faith in each other on offense, defense, and special teams to, to step up when, when needed to uh, make a play to, to win a ball game. Question for Vernon, he had nine receptions, 129 yards, two touchdowns. Talk a little bit about the uh, passing game and why you had success today. Um, our defense, first off, our defense is, I mean, you can look at the stat sheet. You got these two guys next to me. So, I mean, when you get the ball so many times, it's just not as hard. And we got masterminds, too, that, I mean, it's just, it's all put together. Like, it's not hard for me to do much because everybody else contributes and we're just a good team. Like, that's all I can say. Let's go down to the far end. Ronald, talk a little bit about the defense from your, your standpoint. As a uh, defensive back, you guys uh, did a pretty nice job limiting their uh, uh, passing game. They got yards, but they didn't get inside the 10-yard line on you. Yeah, I, I have to say that from our um, defensive line, they, they did a great job. So that's the reason why we do a good job on the back end. So that's that's the reason why I really. Tip, your turn now. Coach Carthel and your, your teammates talked about the defense, specifically the defensive line. Um, what was it that uh, gave you guys success? I mean, eight sacks is a lot. Um, just getting after it. Um, we knew they were going to run the ball, but when we got them um, in situations to pass, we uh, we came with it. Um, we knew we can get off the ball. We had uh, eight sacks last week, so we knew we could do it again. Um, so we just had to get them in situations where they would throw the ball, and we came out on top. More questions for the Lions, Keith. Coach Carwell, uh, do you teach that flip on the interception return? That's something you coach? That, that was a fumble. <laughs> Clearly showed on the little TV screen above the field. So uh, that's what I told him. Great fumble. We were on his punt return. We were telling him, get away, get away, get away. Go, 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 go. So uh, sometimes uh, it's just uh, guys out there making plays and being fortunate. Oh, that'd be uh, Coach Storm and Coach May. They've been, uh, you know, finding ways to uh, get those up. We got three really talented junior quarterbacks, and uh, you know that's a position only one can play. But we uh, felt like we could uh, maybe pull that one off, and 
they were giving us a look that we liked, and so we uh, we rolled the dice and uh, came up a winner. Uh, Coach, um, last season, the past two seasons, the conference only won two games in two years. Now they're two and zero. Oh. How do you get your players to believe in what you're trying to preach to them? Well, first and foremost, we don't talk about last season. You know, this is a new team, and we just talk about, you know, getting better, you know, each week, getting better each practice, every period, every play, and uh, just growing and learning what you're supposed to do, and, and uh, hard work, you know, will, will pay off for them. And, and, and it's fortunate enough that we're seeing that early in the season, and I think that builds a lot of momentum and, and maybe sets us up for some bigger things later on. Um, going into, or coming into the game at Canyon next week, um, I saw that the offensive You know, it's just a next man up mentality. You know, we had, I don't know how many, we gave up three or four sacks before DeCourt went down. And DeCourt went down and we didn't, I don't think gave up another one. So, uh, you know, Rumsey came in and did a fantastic job. And, and, you know, we saw corners go down with cramps and other guys with injuries. And, and we're, you know, we may be young, but we got a lot of guys that are hungry to play. And, and uh, it's just next man up mentality and go out there and get the job done. And, and we, we rep a lot of things in practice and it's a long up-tempo practice. So everybody knows what they're supposed to be doing. and. It's just passing the buck to the next man, and he'll get it done. Y'all know what happened to court? I, I do not know. I just, uh, I, I, I'll get that tomorrow, I guess. They got a high ankle sprain. Okay. Uh, Tell the defense was out there for most of the third quarter. And it's hard on everybody, you know, the guys in the secondary out there getting gas, but y'all know the one up there on the line wrestling with the big dudes. It's got to be hard on you. What's the biggest challenge? being out there for most of the entire period and how do you engage that challenge successfully? Um, the biggest challenge is being winded, um, but fighting through um, being tired, uh, just going out there and uh, just executing even when you're tired. We've done this in practice many times, uh, going 10 plays straight in practice, just this is what we practice for. So just executing when you're tired, executing when you're down, uh, that's it. Boot camp got in check. Yeah, it's boot camp too. <laughs> I have a question for Mr. Ronald. Um, of course, you had a lot of good plays tonight, but the punt return. Did you imagine the punt return to be like that? What was going through your head as it unfolded like that? Um, I just seen the great roll, so I just picked it up, and my teammates did a great job blocking, and then it just ended up as a touchdown. Question for Vernon. Um, in, in the third quarter, the line offense was held to only first down, but really came alive in the fourth. What, what changed from the third and fourth quarters? Um, just execution. Like we, I, I mean, I don't know how good our offense is. If we want to go out there and everybody executes right, we're going to put up crazy numbers. If y'all thought this was something, just stick around. Y'all see when we all execute, we, we can get the job done. We got, I think we have the best players. Simple as that. I love my team and we're going to play. Uh, Coach, one more question for me. Um, Tyreek had yet another 300-yard pass game. How can y'all keep him with this success? How can y'all keep this up? Well, it's just everybody doing their job. You know, it starts up front. He, he did get sacked three or four times tonight, which is, is not, you know, acceptable. But we'll, we'll get that fixed. Hey, we were doing a, a few things that maybe we weren't ready for or didn't have him prepared for. But he's he's so smart and heads easy. He's been a talented, successful player his whole career. and. Uh, you know, he's really, I think his best days are ahead just because as he learns this offense and, and he'll be able to get us when we make a bad call, a great quarterback can get you in a good situation. And he's, as he learns this offense and continues to develop, I think you'll see him, you know, continue to have some good success and, and become one of the premier players in this league. Anything else for the Lions? Colby, about the only down down tonight was that the uh, running game didn't have a real strong night. Uh, why do you think that was and what are y'all going to do to uh, work on that? You know, we'll have to go back and look at the film. They, they were doing some different things and that, you know, to stop the run and which did open up the pass and, and everything. But, uh, you know, there's there's missed assignments. Like we say, we're, we're, a, we're a very young team and and we made some improvements from last week uh, and beat a, a quality opponent tonight. But there's still a lot of work left to, to do and, and we'll enjoy this victory for 24 hours and then we'll saddle back up and we'll go to work. And that's, you know, we've held these guys to a very high standard uh, since we got there and, and we're not going to, you know, celebrate and we did something. We won two games. You know, that's that's a big deal. Let's let's play the next one and, and uh, move on through the season. Your uh, 
stumbling in your old ground for next week. So uh, what's uh, what will you be doing to make a difference this week? You know, how are you preparing for that? What's, what's the adversity been like you know, marching the next week? Yeah, we, we, we'll practice exactly the same. And we, we talked to them about, we talked to these guys about that during two days. You know, uh, from the first game to the last game of the season, we're not going to prepare any different. We're not going to watch any extra film any week. Every game's a big game. And uh, so we're just excited, you know, for the next opponent. And it is a great opponent. Uh, I'm excited for these guys to go to Kimbrough Stadium. It is a fantastic place to play. I know uh, the Texas Panhandle will be uh, rocking the house up there at Kimbrough and the Buffalo will be running. And uh, it's, it's a great in college environment and expect a huge rowdy crowd in Canyon. And uh, I just hope we uh, show up with our A game and, and uh, you know, don't get run out of the stadium. Guys, congratulations, great effort tonight, great win for the team. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks guys.